Um, hi, everyone. I'm sure most of you do know me. Um, so I want you all to have a look at the picture behind me. What are your thoughts on this picture? Keep those thoughts in mind. Hopefully, by the end, you add to them or change some of them. So if you all don't know, I'm Muslim and I am proud. But after the events that took place in Paris, France on November 13th, there's a lot of negativity in the media about Islam. So in Google, if you go into Google and you type Muslim, Islam, or Muslim woman, these are some negative pictures that come up. People think that Muslim women or Muslim girls have no rights or have no freedom, but we do. Look at me, for example. I'm Muslim, I'm a girl, but I don't wear a headscarf. I have the right and freedom to wear one. My mum wants me to wear it, but she's given me the right and freedom of wearing one I feel comfortable enough. So what is Islam and what do we actually believe in? Islam is a beautiful religion, just like many others. It's a religion of peace and mercy. As a Muslim, I use the word assalamu alaikum every day of my life. It's a wish for the other person to be blessed with peace. This is what it means to be Muslim. In Islam, we live by the five pillars. The first one, worshipping one God. The second one, the commitment of prayer. The third one, fasting in Ramadan. The fourth one, charity and giving back. And the fifth one, the pilgrim of Mecca, which you must do at least once in your lifetime. In this picture, the small dots are actually people. They are all Muslim. They are there worshipping God. This is what Islam is actually about, coming together as one. In Islam, even a smile is charity. But what is happening today? These are some negative headlines that come up online. And this is the latest one that came up this week. I want you all to know that these headlines are actually false. None of them are actually true. And this upsets me because the people behind this are usually ISIS. If you don't know who ISIS is, they are a terrorist organization. They cause nothing but tom the harm and terror to the world, just like what happened in France. 129 lives were lost. But ISIS has one goal. They want countries like ours to reject Muslims. They'll be ecstatic and happy to hear that since the events that took place in Paris, France, Muslims have reportedly been threatened and attacked in the UK, America, Australia, and all around the world. This evil organization have in their minds, if they can get Muslims the enemy of the West, then Muslims in France, America, the UK and Australia will have no one to turn but to ISIS. So if you are someone with a Facebook account, Twitter account, Instagram account, or any form of social media, which I'm sure everyone here has, and you are throwing out masses of hate, you are helping ISIS, you are supporting ISIS, this is what they want. So think about it. Do you want to be the person helping a terrorist organization? People think that ISIS only kills non-Muslims, but as a matter of fact, they don't. They also kill Muslims. Most of ISIS's victims are Muslims, like what's happening in Syria right now. Therefore, ISIS is not Muslim and is not the face of Islam. In Islam, we believe whoever kills an innocent person is as if they've killed all of humanity. That's why all Muslims stand together against ISIS. Therefore, terrorism has no religion, and terrorism is not the face of Islam. I had people come to me in school this week and last week telling me because I'm Muslim, I am a terrorist. And this is something I go through every day of my life. And it's became worse since what happened in France. But how has this affected Muslims around the world? If you haven't heard, on November 15th, a man pushes a Muslim woman into an oncoming underground train in London. Why? Because she was wearing a headscarf and she was Muslim. Imagine if you were that woman, having to wake up every day and walk out your door, knowing you will get attacked and threatened for doing what you believe. People also have this idea that refugees and immigrants are stealing their jobs, but they are not. Take my dad as an example. He's a doctor, and he's Muslim, and he's successful. He saves lives every day. He could have saved one of your relatives. People always think that refugees from Syria, I've seen this on Facebook, are oh, close the borders, they are ISIS, they're coming to destroy our country. For a matter of fact, ISIS took over their country. ISIS killed their loved ones. ISIS destroyed their homes. So how would you feel if that was you? Sitting at home, bombs going off, people dying. There's children who are coming into the UK with no families. So how would you feel if that was you in my situation? I have a seven-year-old sister. She came home from school last Monday, crying. When I asked why, she said to me, people are blaming me in school for the Paris attacks. She said, I don't want to go back. I have a brother in year seven. He got bullied last week. People are telling him, your religion is killing people. This is something I have to go through every day. People link us to terrorism, but we are not terrorists. They have hijacked our religion and used it against us. I was in Tesco's just last week. I walked in. The guy was like, these are the people we want out of our country. 
these are people you don't want around. So imagine if that was you coming into my country and I'm treating you this way. How would you feel? So what can we do about it? We can learn about each other's religions and cultures. We can stop making assumptions. We can be fair to one another. I remember, when you tell someone you are a terrorist because of your religion, it's a hate crime, and you have to report it once you view it. My name is Isra Muhammad. I am Muslim, and I am not a terrorist. Thank you. <laughs>